Hey guys, welcome back to Rock and Stims. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about Christian's therapies, give you guys an update on what he's doing, kind of his targets, and um, just show you guys a little bit of how he's doing at home too, what I do with him as his mom at home. Christian is an OT and ABA. He does full-time ABA. He's also doing OT three times a week. Some of the targets that they have is sensory integration and by motor targets. Recently, they're trying to teach him how to hold his spoon properly. So doing, instead of like grabbing it like this, which is a lot, a lot easier for kids, they're starting to try to teach him how to hold it he's doing really really well with cutting he is trying to do all the steps independently so that's really awesome uh, he is learning how to play properly with a lot of the sensory toys that I wish I could get him for in home but need a lot of parent supervision so he's like getting like the kinetic sand he is uh, scooping it up dumping it on this little thing that spins so all of these things are really awesome because he he really needs that sensory input he's also learning how to play connect four and his occupational therapist was so excited because they were legit playing a game like back and forth and he was putting them in and um, it just sounded so cool so with the sensory needs being met sometimes I'll take him to the, his occupational session and he'll have groin pains or he seems stiff and she will do certain things on his legs so that his body kind of like relaxes and he he gets that like compression that he needs she just knows like so much about sensory so one of my suggestions for occupational therapy if you're looking for sensory needs make sure that you know if they have a, a, spe a specialty in sensory integration because that's one of the main reasons why I love occupational therapy because they do meet his needs they do teach him how to ground himself how to find the, his um his place in space um, how to do like the crossing the midline all these things that are very important and that we don't think about as parents and like all these little details are really important for other aspects of life like she, he's getting it met there so i'm really excited about that so so much progress there with aba therapy uh, we have parent training so what we have to do is she gives me a list of things that she would love for me to work at home things that are easy for us as parents to do for us hand washing um he's still he's doing well one of the things that he just hates it like he doesn't like he just wants to be in and out he wants to do handle his business and leave so anytime i stop him to wash his hands he's like oh but he knows the steps it's just about like trying to get it to be faster trying to get it to be smoother so sometimes he'll like you know stem with the water or he'll look around he, he'll get mad sometimes but it is looking better and better the more we do it of course the better it'll get matching is getting better as well that was one of the targets that we've been working on forever we focus on like the attention aspect so making sure that he's looking look at bowl match bowl Four. Good job. Look at chopsticks. Oh, you're not looking. Look at chopsticks. Good job. Four. Mm -hmm. Match four. Good job. Um, 3D objects like forks, plates, those are a little bit easier for him than an actual picture. Um, I don't know why it's physical things have always been easier for him. So that's little by little getting better Pink. Blue. Good job. 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 Good Match purple. You gotta look. Match. That's good matching. Good job. Match purple. Good job. Sign language is also getting a lot smoother. The ones that he has, he's using them more appropriately. So that's really exciting. Um, the pecs. So you guys know that we've been really wanting to push the pecs. I've been I've been trying to make everybody in the household just be more invested on the pecs. And I feel like it's gotten so much better. Um, he's actually looking, he's selecting. When he doesn't like something, he's like, no, pushing it away. Show me what you want. Is it not there? Gummy. Gummy. 
I'm, I'm still trying to find an easy way to get more natural with it. A lot of times it is still food, but the practice is getting in, you know, practice is everything. So we're still trying to keep that going. Another thing that's really exciting is that the, the mask tolerance has gone up a lot. So if you guys remember a couple videos ago, maybe like two months ago, um, I was showing you guys how we're doing with the mask and he was fighting me even to put it on. So I'm really excited that now he's allowing us to put it on him and he is allowing up to 20 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, yes. So that doesn't mean that it looks perfect like he's just sitting there allowing it. Like he is a lot, he is so calm about it. But after a certain while, of course, he starts fidgeting or trying to take it off. But the way that I see it, as long as we can keep it on when he walks in, if he needs to take it off, like if we're counting and we're still not where we need to be sitting down, I could stop, give him a quick break and then tell him, all right, 10 more seconds and put it back on. Like it's amazing. Like. This is, this is, I want to give you guys hope on like working on something really can make something happen. You know what I mean? Like it just seemed like not hopeless, but it seemed really challenging for Christian to tolerate a mask and now he's doing so much better. So I'm really, really happy about that. Another really exciting thing is his vocal sounds. So I don't know if you guys have noticed throughout the videos, he's a little bit more vocal. He has his, his happy vocal sounds, his angry vocal sounds, but a lot of times back then he was very, very quiet overall. Christian's turn. Say bread. Christian, bread. <laughs> Your turn. Then. Good job. Good job. Say bread. Bread. working on sounds is have him make a sound for a, for a food like a gummy or whatever he's requesting do you want has gotten a lot better where whereas before I wasn't getting any sounds now even if they're angry sounds I'm accepting them because a lot of times he would be quiet for like minutes at a time like even when he was angry he wouldn't like or anything he would just be quiet so we're accepting any sound at all and we're really excited because it is looking a lot better I'm really excited about his vocal sounds I'm really excited about his response to us following directions like when we called him before when he was in the room Luna's here. <laughs> when he was in the room, eat, um, when it was time to eat, we would be like, Christian, he wouldn't respond. Now we call him once and like, obviously sometimes he takes a while, but he will come. Um, he'll look at us more. He wants to play with us more. He loves Hugo. Right now he's a daddy's boy because um, Hugo's fun. <laughs> so he'll be playing with Haiti and he's like getting jealous or they'll be doing like tickle fights. And it's just really cool to see all of the progress that he's had. So. I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know of all the progress that we're seeing, the vocal sounds, the mask tolerance, just more engagement. It's really, really awesome. He's just, he's a happy boy too. He's just loving it. And he's so alert and so feisty and full of life. So I hope you, I hope that these videos gives you guys some hope on the future. A lot of times I'll get messages from other moms, um, just the way they feel a little bit helpless or sad about the future when they get a diagnosis of autism for their kids. It doesn't mean the end of the world. It doesn't mean that your kid will never learn anything. It's just a bit different. So hang in there. Uh, let me know what your kiddos have been up to, what progress you guys have seen. Give me a positive comment down below. I'd love to hear your stories. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>